I'm gonna talk a little quieter because he's finally asleep. Well, he's sleepy. Yeah, he's not just asleep now. Yeah. Okay. Um, as you can see by the title, I have. He is a French Bulldog. His name is Frank. Um, there's a lot of details I'm probably going to keep out of this video um, because the internet can be mean. Can be. Like, it can be helpful as well. So, any tips you have for a puppy in a condo, give them to me, please. For his bathroom situation potty training which is proving to be the most difficult because he can't go outside yet because he doesn't have a second round of vaccinations and I there's so many dogs here it's so public it's pretty much like a dog park and I don't know if everyone has their dog vaccinated I don't know so the best thing to do is keep him inside until he has all his vaccines and his boosters so his bathroom situation I've gotten like a grass turf for the balcony, which is right on the other side of this. Um, which I th I'm gonna still use like in the middle of the night um, and like in the dead of winter, I think, when um, he can't go outside, like all the way down 33 floors. Um, any other potty training tips would be great. He is, he was born on June 10th and the date today is August 17th. So that puts him at, I think he'll be 10 weeks on the 19th. Um, his vaccines are on September 3rd. So he's stuck in here for a little bit. Luckily, um, he actually is going to my parents' house and they have a beautiful yard um, where he can go outside. Hi. Yeah. Um, hi baby. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, it's so hard to give Kitty attention right now because he has to be near me all the time. Oh, rubbing on the corner. He's yeah going to my parents' place um, Saturday because today's Tuesday for a week. And then when I bring him back, he only has to be in the apartment for like another week. Um... So it's not too bad. The reason he's going to my parents is because my friend from the Yukon, um, which I never see, um, she we made plans to go to the cottage a long time ago. And again, public, I could bring him, but like he's not vaccinated. So I just don't feel comfortable. Um, so my parents are taking him and he will probably be just as spoiled as he is here. So it's all good. What else? Oh, yeah, I guess I'm stressed about him and Kitty getting along. But I know that will come. He is a puppy and she's literally a cat with Asperger's. So, like, what do I expect, you know? This has been extremely challenging because I do work 40 hours a week. I do work from home. And then I'm also doing my CPA, which can be anywhere from 15 to 20 hours a week. So when he's sleeping is when I take action, okay? Um, I think having a puppy has reminded me how much I do not want children. At all. Never. Thank you. So I didn't record much from um, the day I got him because the drive was two hours. I was so stressed about him being stressed, taking him away from everything. I was stressed about Kitty. <sighs> I recorded some and I will insert that footage. Um, and I've recorded like snippets throughout the week because I've had him just over a week now and I've recorded little things and I'll insert that now.
We need to wipe that. I am so hungry. But I feel like if I get up right now, it will wake him up. I have to pee too. I just have to get up. I just hate when he wakes up and he cries. I hate it. This is going to be such a learning curve. Okay. He has a belly button. And I think that's so cute. Yep, okay. So, I mean, one really good thing. Can I just walk? I guess not. <laughs> okay. Ow! Okay. One. <laughs> one really good thing is look at his little nub. <laughs> look, he's wagging his little nub. <laughs> Okay. One of the good things is you slept through the whole night. You slept through the whole night. Look at his nub wagging. Yeah. So this behavior took a while because he was so scared. We brought him home, but luckily we had the playpen to make him feel comfortable in the playpen. Not my feet. Look at this. Okay, you never burp this much. Okay. Oh, oh my lord. Oh, okay. So, just making some brekkie. I, I think you know. Careful, she's gonna hiss at you. So another thing, Kitty was so stressed out that she didn't eat for three days. Um, and then because, yep, that's that. Yep, you know. Oh, okay, we don't growl. So, okay, her litter was over here, but because the playpen was there, she didn't feel safe going to, waiting for his food to um, come to room temperature because it was in the fridge. Um, anyway. So, yeah, she didn't feel safe going to her litter. So, so for the first time in nine years, um, she went to the bathroom on the floor, and I cried because I feel so bad. But she finally ate last night and went to the bathroom and she drank some water this morning. So. Is that good? Um, feeling better. And she's, that's the closest she's ever gotten to him. I just want her to feel safe in your own home. And fun fact, he does like, right now, he specifically likes Kitty's toys more, aka this pig. <laughs> okay. Okay. I just want him to get comfortable in the crate. Do what I don't want the first time I leave. Or the first time he goes in the crate to be the time that I just leave so he still sees the crate with me and it's leaving. I want you to like your crate. Is that all you want? I'll leave the food there for all right, a while. <laughs> okay, so the reality of having a puppy when you work from home. He actually was asleep in his playpen. Um, 
for a while because uh, I know like I don't want to have that separation anxiety so like I know if I have him sleeping on me all the time it's probably probably not good um but he just ran over and laid under the chair and I move my chair around a lot so I just picked him up because I don't want to decapitate him good news um I did the first time um or he did the first time alone um in the crate and he did really well uh I I had anxiety though I rushed through my workout so quickly oh Kitty's gotten closer to him today she is wrapped in her bed um really stressed about her being stressed I feel so bad um I got that I'm about to go into a meeting in 11 minutes and um, he is um, I'm just hoping he doesn't wake up during the realities of having a puppy when you work from home and you live by yourself. Luckily, my boss is, like, she'll just think it's cute. Yeah. So I just finished my CPA for the, the, no, I just finished my assignment for my CPA. Thank you. Um, and he napped the whole time and he just woke up now. Good. So, good timing. Now I can make a dinner. He is such a puppy like that sounds like so stupid but it's just like puppies really um there's no justifying it i'm just gonna clean up and then make some dinner yeah like he's so Kitty. Yeah, do you see Kitty? Probably. Yeah. 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 Okay. So this, um, sh shout out to this company, Canadian based, Carico. Um, so they relaunched their sushi line. Um, honestly, just basically did it for this harness. Um, can't wait to actually put this on him. I can't believe it's gonna be this big, but yeah, it's so cute. Let me. It's gonna bite my freaking feet. Like, I love the wasabi. I think that one's my fave. Um, harness. It comes with um handkerchief which is useful for Frenchies because they overheat so easily so you can wet it put it over their back um like they would ever do any physical activity ever collar bow tie uh, the lead um and honestly I think my favorite is the poop bag that's so cute so yeah I gotta find a place to put these I'm taking him to the vet. Well, like, I'm at the vet. I'm just waiting for them to call and tell me I can come in. But it is so stressful doing anything for the first time with a puppy, as I'm sure it's just as stressful for them. Yeah, I'm talking. Oh, we got this, love. We got it. He's wearing Kitty's harness, but that's fine. 
just want this. I just want this. I'm gonna go home. I feel like he feels the same. Okay. Don't. Ah! No, okay. I know you're frustrated, I know, but that's not how we, that's not how she wants to talk. Kidney. Okay. Kidney. What are you doing, hon? Don't come up. Come on up. Don't touch Kitty's toy. That's actually her toy. Yeah, you can destroy my stuff. I don't care. That's great. Kitty. I know you're frustrated, bud. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. You eat poop. You eat poop. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. So the reality is cats and puppies, like maybe kitties and dogs, like th that works, but like cats and puppies, they don't really work and it's very stressful because kitty hasn't been eating are oh, you hot yeah you're hot um she just started eating maybe yesterday she didn't eat for a whole week um she didn't drink water for four days um but she's slowly coming back to normal and it stressed me the f out i don't okay it's just Do you want to go aside? Um, this is very difficult, especially when you live alone. Anything becomes just so hard. Um, but I got this. I'm going to do this. Yeah, her food is up there, not yours. Hers. Not yours. Oh yeah, I haven't shown her that I moved her food here. So I've segre I segregated the office to her um, over the weekend. I'll show you. So I pulled this across and I gave her, like I put her water here, her litter's here, and then I had her food up here. But now I have to work. So if the, it's clean, you're not gonna get anything out of it. Um, so now I have to work there. So you, have to come out into the, the space now. Yeah, he's like in the dishwasher, but there's nothing. Oh, she's gonna find her food. Did you find your food? Yes. See, smart, stupid. Smart. Start your bread. <laughs> I have my hands full, I'm stressed, I'm working full time. Show you pay A, and I know this will get easier. As soon as I have him potty trained, I think the majority of the stress will be gone. He is named after two reasons he's named Frank. First of all, it's a stupid name. Sorry to anyone named Frank. Actually, no, full offense, I'm not. So Kitty is Kitty Cuddy, just because that's stupid and it's funny. Um, and then Frank for Frank Ocean, because I actually do love Frank Ocean. And then also Frank because my family dog, her name was Scooby, and the voice actor for Scooby-Doo is, his name's Frank, so, Frank. Useless potato. So, maybe I'll do like an update video when he's like six months, so that'll be like in the new year, um, because right now I'm about to blow my brains out.
guess the only good content is him being cute. I guess, you know what, I'll end the video with a little potato tour. Phenomenal, 10 out of 10, potato. This is my hand. Oh my gosh. Yeah, also he doesn't close his eyes when he sleeps. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. He doesn't close his eyes when he sleeps. Mm. Which is fine. But yeah, that's Frank. So... So thank you for watching a useless potato. Thank you. Okay, bye.